A federal high court in Abuja has convinced Donny Okukwe, Director General of the PTOB Presidential Campaign for Breaching the Money Laundering Act. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had initially arraigned Okukwe in 2019 on a 59-count charge bordering on alleged money laundering and diversion of funds to the tune of 702 million naira. It was arranged before Ijama Ojuku, the presiding judge, alongside two companies, Value Trust Investment Limited and Abraham Telecoms Limited. Okupe was said to have received cash from the office of the National Secretary Advisor while Sambo Dansuki was in office. While delivering judgment on Monday, Ojuku found Okupe guilty of contravening sections 16, 1 and 2 of the Money Laundering Act by accepting cash payments in excess of the threshold allowed under the Act without going through a financial institution. The judge said the NSA is not a financial institution and although the former president allegedly authorized the funds, he did not specify a cash payment in violation of the Money Laundering Act. The judge however found the defendant not guilty in counts 1 to 33 on the grounds that the prosecution failed to establish the charge of money laundering criminal breach of money laundering, criminal breach of trust, and corruption against the NSA. The matter was subsequently stood down to 1.45 p.m. to allow the convict, Okupe, to call witnesses to testify about his character as enshrined under Section 310 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. The sentencing is expected to be delivered after the process must have been concluded. However, Hours after his conviction for money laundering, Donny Okupe released a statement via his Twitter handle where he stated that God is not a man and that the enemies have tried in so many ways but kept failing. Quoting the original statement released by Donny Okupe, he said, God is not a man. The enemies have tried in so many ways but kept on failing. Victories of God. Meanwhile, Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has reacted to this conviction, stating that the conviction of Donny Okupe would not demoralize him and that he cannot break his resolve to be Nigeria's president come 2023.